Good evening, and welcome to part 1 of 800 of my tutorial series on how to make professional quality animations in 3D Studio Max. I am Captain Wilson of the good ship Pay Attention to the Words That I Am Speaking. This will be a long and arduous process. In part 1 we will be making a thing. The thing will speak words and tell a tale. We will keep it very simple. For tutorials on the interface of 3D Studio Max or how to acquire it, please look elsewhere. If you use another piece of 3D animation software, please pay attention as you still may find this useful. Now the first thing we will need for this story is a script. I have one prepared. For those of you unable to interpret Hangul, I have an English translation provided. Pay attention please. You will notice this is in Comic Sans, so the remedial can understand it. The script reads, Mr. Smiley Sphereface is in the shops, purchasing some lemonade from Mr. Textured Oblate Spheroid. Mr. Smiley Sphereface is walking down the road. I cannot wait to buy some lemonade for my pet donkey's birthday party. He approaches the man behind the counter. What would you like today, sir? A bottle of lemonade. That will be half a crown. Mr. Smiley Sphere Face completes the financial transaction and leaves the shop. Mr. Textured Oblate Spheroid waves as he is leaving. As you may be able to see, I have kept the story straightforward. Now, let's get started. The first thing we will do is create a sphere. It can be any colour you desire. Creativity is not discouraged. Lower the poly count to a level that your OLPCXO laptops can run. Eight segments should be sufficient. Hit Ctrl and S and save your project as Mr. Underscore Smiley Underscore Sphere Underscore Face Underscore Zero Zero One and hit Save. Next, right click the sphere and select Convert to Editable Poly. Next, select Vertex and the Cut tool, and then cut out eye holes and mouth holes so he can see and speak. Remember not to have more than four edges to a polygon. If you do, you will fail this course and be sent to the crying shed with all the special needs students. To do this, select the cut tool again and join up the newly created vertices with the pre-existing ones. Select the polygon selection tool and select the eye and mouth holes. Delete them. Now we have a very happy looking sphere man. Select the border tool and move the polygon edges inside the mouth hole by holding shift and then dragging. Press cap and then join up the vertices using the cut tool. Please dispose of any unnecessarily created vertices by selecting them and then clicking remove. This will remove them from existence. Hit Ctrl and S to save. Remember again to ensure there are no more than four edges to a polygon. Repeat the previous step. Next, select the eye holes and do the same thing as before, only different as shown. We will not need to cap these ones, as eyes will be inserted to cover up our non-existent God's mistakes. Create a smaller sphere for the eyes and move them into place. Remember to reduce the segments to a level that your computers can handle. Shift drag the other eye into place to make an identical clone 
Smaller spheres can also be created by copying the eyes and making them smaller, as shown, and then moving them into place, as you can see here. Now the smiling man can see. Select the largest sphere and select element. Select attach and attach the smaller eyes and pupils to the main body. The eyes can be adjusted so they are more within their socket. This concludes the modeling component of the tutorial. Hit Ctrl and S to save. Remember to rename the model 01. This will be very important later. Press M on your keyboard to bring up the material editor. Remember to select Compact Material Editor under Mode. <clears throat> Choose the first texture sphere thing and drag it onto your model. Next, click Diffuse and select a colour that you find aesthetically pleasing. Creativity is not discouraged. I made mine yellow because it reminds me of freshly hatched ducklings. Next, do the same with the two other texture spheres to make colours for the eyes and pu- You can apply them to individual polygons by selecting them and dragging. As shown. This concludes the colouring portion of the tutorial. Please pay attention. Now select Mr. Smiley's fear face and create a copy of him by shift dragging. Select his genetically inferior clone and move the polygons inside his mouth so they are closed. Remember to keep his smile or his name won't make sense. If you are caught making a frowning Mr. Smiley's fear face, you will be sent to the asbestos room with the students caught smoking behind the crying shed. Now, go back to Mr. Smiley's fear face prime, as he shall be known from here on, and select Morpher under the modifiers tab. Click Pick Object from Scene and select his inferior twin. Now, using this slider, you can morph between the two states. This will give the impression that the mouth is opening and closing. Next, select the inferior twin and go to display. Then click on hide selected. This will hide him from view. Never to be seen again. One final optional thing you can do to the model is to select turbo smooth under the modifiers tab. This will make the model look less shit. Three iterations will be sufficient. This concludes part one of the tutorial. In the next part we will make the shopkeeper, who will be vastly more complicated. Please go away until next time.